sunshine at the desk today. You fell in love with her on The Good Place, Emmy nominated, I might add. The irresistibly and charmingly funny Janet. It is walking and talking human delight, Darcy Carden. Hi. I'm a tall pour today. No, oh, you no. do. I need oh. extra caffeine. Is that what it is? Ice yes. Coffee? I'm so excited for your new movie, Shotgun oh, Wedding. Oh, so fun. Oh. Josh Duhamel came here, and he was so fun. He's amazing. He's yeah. so good in this movie. Oh, my gosh. Well, there's so many stars in this movie. Hello, J-Lo. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Also, Hello. Uh, you know, you see him right there. Look, Cheech Marin right yeah. there. Cheech Marin. A Cheech Marin. I know. Oh, so, um, okay, you guys had some fun. You were all, like, hanging out while you shot. Did you have the kind of fun that I would imagine you would have with Cheech? Cheech. Cheech. Um, he would, I mean, he, um, he, he has fun, but he's, he's just great. Have either of you met him? He's amazing. No. I met him really briefly. Yes. I met him. Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. He's um, so nice. He's so smart and cool, and he's been in one trillion movies. Like, you think of him as Cheech and Chong, but he's been in so many movies, and he's so knowledgeable, and he's just, like, down-to-earth and great, and he even, like, made us tacos one night, and we hung out with Cheech. Well, um, <laughs> it is time for Drew's News, and we're here, Darcy. Would you hit some headlines? Okay. Well, you, madame, are first up. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. All right. All right. <laughs> news us, news us. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> first up, the Mirror reports a bride in China just went viral for this sweet move. She invited all her ex-boyfriends to the wedding and oh. sat them at the same table. To make sure things were crystal clear, she added a sign that said, table of ex-boyfriends. <laughs> I love this. Yeah. I do. I don't know if I would do it, but I love it. <laughs> I thought, you know, I thought about this a lot. And your wedding day is day you probably are going to look the best you're ever going to look That's in your true. entire life. Oh, so yeah. so oh, yeah. I think you should invite all your exes and walk through like Julia Roberts That's and true. Pretty Woman. That's true. And be like, big mistake. Yes. said was that she wanted them to know what they missed out exactly. on. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Would you ever do that? If I you're married, what would I, you would you do that? I, yeah, I didn't he didn't we kept it real strictly friends and fam, no ex lovers. Yeah. I don't think. I was gonna say maybe you're inviting people from you, your entire yeah. life. Isn't there someone you made a bad decision, or, you know, or a one night weird, like, one off with? Things happen. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, uh. Things are crazy. No, I'm, not I'm looking out at the audience in my wedding in my mind right now. There's not one single one that I, you know, what with. No. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> nothing. 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 Really? nothing. I know. I, nothing. I'm trying to think too. Hmm. Huh. No. God, that would be a twist, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. I don't. Oh, no, I, I, oh, okay. I was just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, next, the one and only Martha Stewart turned 81 last year. And how does this mega mall wow. stay so young and hot? Wow. Yahoo Look Life reports that Martha rides horses, mm. she does Pilates, mm. she hits the gym. But she also has her friends in her age group hold her accountable. She says, quote, if we start to act like little old ladies and don't care what our house looks like or how it smells or anything, we get killed. <laughs> well, Martha is hardcore. And Day Darcy, you met some amazing 90-somethings working on a league of their own. I did. Which I absolutely loved. You know, Abby, Abby was here. Oh, yeah. We love you so much. We love Abby. Yeah. She loves you. Well, and you guys are so good in that show Thank together. Thank you so much. I mean... Just amazing. Did you guys meet any women with wisdom there? We did. We did. We got to work with, um, in particular, Maybelle Blair, who was in the original League. Did yes. I think you... We, yes. we know yes. her. Yes. She was on our her. show, too. She's amazing. <laughs> um, yes. And, and Maybelle is... She's amazing, and she's full of advice, and she's full of, like, little wisdom-y factoids. And she... I think her, like, whole deal is, like, life's a party. I think she has said that. She lives that. Like, we're here for a short time, in her case, a long time, but it's just, like, be here and have fun and, like, live in the moment. She's just... I, I, I love her. I love her. I love her. So special. I know. I you got to talk to her about it, too. Yeah. She was on set a lot. It was great. That's great. It was great. Yeah. Mm. Okay, I want to know what you think about this. British Vogue says the newest trend is eating alone. Yeah, going out to a restaurant, eating alone. Some, some people's worst nightmare. But right. they say there's no shame in the party of one game. They say the stigma is gone. And 2023 is the year to go out and eat by yourself. I love that. They go further, Drew. They say, while you're at it, to ditch your phone, ditch your copy of Anna Karenina you're pretending to read, and just, 
And just focus. Be in the present, right? Be there with your meal. And do it. You are an eat alone or Drew. Major eat alone. -er. Yeah. yeah. Love I do eat too. alone. I do too. You do it as well? You're fine with it? I am fine with it. I, I think I probably am a little too reliant on my um, phone yeah. and my Anna Karenina. Yeah. Well, but oh, I would love to be reading I was going to say, well, I like to do a crossword puzzle. That feels I good. I always bring my pros crossword puzzle with my erasable pen. Oh, cute. And because I can't see the pencil anymore because I'm too old. <laughs> and so I've got my erasable ink pen and I just sit there and I That's stimulate nice. my brain. Yeah. And it's, it's just, if I don't have some type of reading material, I do feel naked and vulnerable. I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that, but I like to go and I have, I, I, I'm eating alone, but I'm eating for two, right? So I order like- You're pregnant? No, no, okay. I'm just hungry. I'm, I always get like a martini, I get an appetizer and a full entree, and then I just love to look at the restaurant and see people. I do too. And pick up on storylines and too. judge people. Me you too. Know? I love that. Yeah. Do you feel confident, like alone with no distractions or devices or- I, I I think I am starting to feel more and more confident alone, but I, I love when I'm when I have dinner with my husband, he I, I like to do what you do. I like to like eavesdrop on oh, people yeah, yeah. and uh -huh. he doesn't he's always like, Come on, come on, we're here. We're oh, you're with present. me. I want yeah. your presence, not yeah. your time. Exactly. Yeah. Last night we were at dinner and on one side of us was like a table of four women that I could tell they were like old friends that had sort of maybe didn't have as much in common anymore. And I could tell they all like hated each other. <laughs> and I just wanted to like listen. Uh, yeah. And then on the other side, I, there was a couple who I could tell was on their first date, but I think they had slept together before. Oh, this is great. I just want, I was like, Jason, you go home. Let me just, let me just li sit here and eat my sushi and listen. Okay, Darcy, you know what? The next time I, I go eat alone, I'm gonna do a little eavesdropping in your honor. Thank yeah. You. <laughs> That's your legacy. <laughs> if I leave nothing else. No. <laughs> I cannot thank you enough for coming here. We absolutely love you. Shotgun Wedding is streaming now on Prime Video.